Hi, how to solo launch your model without the aid of anybody else being around? So how to make a launcher? Well, you'll find one or two people online who will show you how to make their version of a launcher. But they all seem to have the same problem, at least 99.9% .9 is what to do about this end here, because they put joints in and they have to shave them off and all these other things. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to make a launcher. This particular one uh, was uh, made specifically for the rocket plane ME163 that I made last year. Uh Also show you how to make the bend now I'm going to make a separate video to how to make the bend and that'll also be at the end of the video but basically I'll show you how to make something very similar to this uh, something that's probably going to be um, a lot more adaptable to using a, a foot trigger so uh, stay with it stay with me hi so I am going to show you how I make my own launching platform. Okay, so let's begin making the launcher. So with this, we're making uh, a 20, using a 20 mm tube, which is uh, in the UK what we use for um, electrical conduits and. I've already in a previous video uh, shown you how to make this bend okay using a spring now you're gonna need some feet now the feet are gonna look like this now this is called an angle box and this is called an adapter okay so this is your adapter this one screws at the bottom okay and that's how you Get your adapter so we don't need the screws that's in there so we're going to undo those okay right little rubber diaphragm that comes with it won't need that so how do we make that into that? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, you can get a 20mm cutter. I've just uh, done that one there and I've forgotten to take off the, uh, the scrap. And if I'm lucky, that'll come off. Come on, come on. So what you do, you mark the centre of that and then you drill the 20mm hole like so, get yourself a knife and just trim that off like that Oop, and the inside. Okay, there we are. The threaded part goes in the bottom, like that. Screw the adapter on. Okay, now you've got two of these. So this is for one side. Now, this is the clever bit. Put these away for a second. Okay. Stand that up. Now, this goes on the bottom here, like so. There you go. And one at the back, like this. In fact, why don't I just trim that end off a little bit? This is where I've sawn it, the end off. Uh, Get rid of the swarf there. There you go. Now, 
have got a little bit of uh, uh, glass paper. That will finish it off quite nicely. That goes on the end there, like that. Okay. There you are. Straighten that up. We'll end up with that. Okay. And all we've got to do is another piece, making that from there to there, which I will do in just a moment. And uh, that's that end done, more or less. Now, when it comes to the two sides, everybody's going to want a different distance. So what you can do, you can make a slider. Now, if you have a, a piece of 20 mil and a piece of 25 mil, the 20 mil fits in rather nicely inside the 25 mil, and that will give you an extender. But of course, on one of these ends, you're going to have to put um, a 25 mil box, not a 20 mil. Okay, so that 20 mil will go in there. The other side will be a 20 mil, and that will allow you, in theory, he said. If it comes out, let me just tip that up. Oop. That then to slide to any size you want. Okay, so there's the Baron's topical tip on that one. Okay, now I'm just going to put a, an edit in here because I want to measure this off and uh, offer it up and I'll show you how that looks then. Right, so what we have now, we have the 90 box here. This part is, is, goes on the ground, on the grass. This goes up. So I'll just pull, pan out the, the camera. So that's what it's going to look like, okay? Yeah? Now, you have the optional extra, which I will probably do, of putting a, another straight in here. In which case, you're going to need a T box. And you just cut out this measurement from there to there you put that in there and that gives you a cross brace that's an optional extra it just gives it a little bit of rigidity there and you'll see at the back here they have pre-cut this part here you can do any size you like and as I said before you can use a 20 mil tube to, to cover over this to make this any size you want to make it adjustable okay and that is broadly what you're going to do. So um, I'm going to finish this off and show you the results. And it's pretty easy. So by now, your frame should be looking something like this. Now, I've got to put a cross piece in here. And to make it look symmetrical, I'm going to get my uh, level out. Level it up with the back, back of the bend. Get it level there. And then mark that front end there. Take this out, mark up the next one next to it, it should be the same length, and then put a cross memory, which I'll show you in just a moment. Now I've marked both of the tubes here, so all I've got to do is just cut them now and I'll put the T piece in. And voila, this should, well, it should now look like these are T pieces. And the frame is now completed. Uh, so let's get on to the next bit. Now that's cool.